The best magic tricks are the ones that make you question reality. But the key to selling a magic trick isn't skill, it's showmanship. It's like Houdini said, what the eyes see and the ears hear, the mind believes. Let me tell you what I believe. I believe I wasn't born special like my sister, charming, social, and dating the football star. I was never like her. I didn't always get things right. Zoe, can you come join us? Half the tricks I know are pretty boring. Easy sleight of hand stuff. So yeah, I can make a coin disappear behind someone's ear. But that's nothing compared to my sister. She pulled off the greatest disappearing act of them all. She died. Nobody ever knows, nobody ever sees Praying to the Lord, praying for my soul Now please don't go, oh no I think of you whenever I'm alone Now please forced him to start doing magic with me. He agreed, under one condition, that we share it with no one. So in return, I promised we'd make no new friends. Oh, hello to you too, Zoe. Hi, Brody. How was your weekend? I practiced that one trick, but I'm still messing up the end. Butterfingers. You're riffling too fast. We've discussed this. Let's say they're Valentine. I'm so sorry for your loss, Joey. She's sorry a month later. Her name is Zoe. Oh. I get it. My real name is Sarah, but my friends call me Brittany. Go by whatever name you want, girl. Uh, no, my name's actually Zoe. As you can probably tell, not making friends was never a problem for us. Does being popular make you stupider? Brody, it's fine. They've literally spent the night at your house. I know, but they're not my friends. They were my sister's friends. And that's Isaac Jones, my sister's ex-boyfriend, or I guess, widower. Even when Cleo was alive, he never noticed me. He still doesn't. Earth to Zoe. Do you want to practice tonight or not? Yeah, of course. Sorry. X squared minus four. And who wants to... Would someone other than Miss Betts care to solve an equation today? Ah. Uh. Yes, Cleo, come on up. I mean, Zoe. Come on up, Zoe. Maybe she should go back to her own grave. X times X squared minus four. Very good. Good work, Zoe. Don't forget your homework tonight on solving proofs. Hey. Me? 
It's me, Isaac. You, Isaac, me, Zoe. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I want to let you know that some people are going over to Boots House tonight. Uh, it'll be a bunch of Cleo's friends, if, if you wanted to come. Thanks, I'm cool. Cool like you're coming, or, or cool like you're not interested? Cool like, thank you for noticing that I exist, but I have plans. This photo was taken the day before my sister's first diagnosis. Dad took us out for ice cream while Mom stayed home with Cleo. She was sick in bed. We brought her home a scoop of mint chip, her favorite, but she couldn't even eat it. Well, no, I don't think that. Because... Mom? I, got, I gotta go. Who's that? Your Aunt Judy. Zoe, please. I've told you countless times to just put your stuff away. It's not that hard to put something back where it belongs. I'm just tired. Then go to your room and take a nap. Why can't I just take a nap here? Just do what you want. You always do anyway. Sometimes... I think my mom wished it was me who disappeared. Casper, maybe your dad can take you to the batting cages this weekend. Yeah, maybe. You used to go every weekend. How come I'm never invited? The last time I threw a baseball at you, you dove into the hot dog stand. I was four. All three of you should go. I have some quarters laying around. Tony, have you seen them? They were on the dresser. Tony. Yeah, th this weekend, um, I have to work. Could I be excused? Yeah, I guess. Can I go to Brody's house? If you're home by 9.30. What? Why not 10? Cleo's curfew is 10. If you finish your homework. Thanks for having my back, Tony. What? I... I'm sorry. I... I have to call Judy back. Hey, stranger. Still too cool to come out tonight? Uh, I'm actually supposed to go. Just for an hour. Sure, but really just for a little bit. I have to go to my friend's house. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Stick by me. Is that the other Valentine? I didn't know you partied like your sister. You don't know anything about me. You wish I did. Chill, Boots. Isaac! Hey. Is it just me or does this party suck? I feel like we're missing something. Um, Cuba? Oh, Cleo. <laughs> That's such a downer. Well, she would want us to have fun. I just, like, don't really like being sad. I want to kiss Boots tonight. Ew, Boots? He's so gross. Girl, have some standards. He's cute. He's a jerk. A cute jerk? Look, working with Robin Robin, she taught me that this tough guy exterior, they're typically, like, sweet, shy songwriters. Well, not really, but let's go back. Uh, Joey, what are you doing here? I have to take this.
There's nothing in the box. Hey, Mom or Dad or Brody. If it's not one of you three, you have the wrong number. Leave a message after the beep. Hey, Zoe. Where are you? You're not answering any of your texts. You didn't get kidnapped, right? I don't want to have to call your mom. I think it's time for some spin the bottle. <laughs> you already know the rules. But for any of our newbies, you kiss who you land on. No cold feet. My sister was into this game. Yep. And if you're gonna be at this party, you're gonna play too. Look, don't worry. This is like your first kiss and everything. All right, Boots, go first. Why me? Because it's your house and you've already made out with every girl at this party, so just spin it. You should kiss more often, Allison. It'll shut you up. Bottle never lies. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> Ooh, Kiba, Evan, that kind of rhymes. Actually, it doesn't. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Allie. Ooh. <laughs> My turn. Isaac! <laughs> just spin it again now, come on. Nuh uh. You know the rules, no redos. I, I think I'm just gonna sit this one out, guys. No, come on. come on. You're embarrassing me. Just kiss her. It's not like you haven't before. Alright. Jeez, Allison. Your turn. Try and beat that. <laughs> 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 Straight out of your latest wet dream, Milo. <laughs> Just re-spin it. Don't be a jerk, boots. Oh. I can't. <laughs> Zoe. Oh, I knew it. It's typical. Fresh one. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm next. <laughs> when Cleo came back after the surgery, my mom told me everything was going to be okay, that I didn't need to worry. After she got better, Cleo was more popular than ever. Everyone wanted to know the girl who had cancer. I bet she would have been prom queen, but she only made it to homecoming. A disappearing act has two parts. Something disappears, and then it comes back. If Cleo ever came back, I guess I'd ask her who she really was. How she made being in high school look so easy all the time. How she was such an ace at everything. And why she pushed me away. Houdini once said, it's still an open question as to what extent exposure really injures a performer. In high school, any kind of exposure can get you in trouble. I'm just saying, you didn't have to kiss both of the Sanderson twins last night. I mean, the bottle does a pick and not me. You're gross. That's how the girls like it. Admit you were waiting for us, bro. 
Waiting for what? Waiting for us boys to undress and get in the showers, am I right? <laughs> oh yeah, that's totally what I was doing. Nah, seriously, who looks better with the shirt off, me or Isaac? Gay jokes haven't been funny for like 10 years, dude. Well, it's not a joke if you're actually gay. Clemens, I know you saw me. Don't make me run after you. Wrong side of the bed this morning? You blew me off last night. I texted you back. Yeah, I, like midnight. Sorry. I fell asleep on my physics books. The aerodynamics, am I right? Whatever. I almost called your mom. I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. So... Walk home together later? We'll see. What do you have now? English lit. Algebra, because I'm cool like that. I don't think being two years ahead in math is something to brag about. Says the guy who not only reads but writes moody poetry? It was one time. In the darkness of Attaway, when a lone man walked alone. I hope everyone worked extra hard on yesterday's homework assignment, because today we have a pop quiz. Nice of you to join us, Mr. Jones. Take one of the tests. Hey, keep your eyes on your own paper, please. Dude, it's ended up not being terrible. Yeah, because you've kissed like everyone already. At least some guys are still interested in kissing. Yeah, Isaac is being so lame. It's not like Cleo would even care anyway. I feel like she would totally want him to be happy. Try telling him that. He's got like some weird obsession with the Valentines. Oh my god, I can't believe Joey showed up last night. I think it's Zoe, and yeah, that was super weird. Did you just say that Zoe Valentine was at a party last night? Don't get any ideas, Frosh. Valentine got a pity invite, but you're definitely never allowed. Hiding from me? No. Can I walk with you? It's a free country. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable the other night. You don't have to apologize. I shouldn't have pressured you to come to that party. I just, I thought with Cleo not around, you might be lonely. I don't need your pity friendship. I know. I know, I'm sorry. I, it's all just been really hard, you know? I, I used to tell Cleo a lot of things about myself. What was she like to you? I guess she was just kind of different with different people, you know? Like, like she was a lot of people's best friend. And they all told her stuff, like personal, secrets. I didn't know that about her. Oh, I, I always assumed you two were really close, that she just kept her family stuff private. Well, you assumed wrong. Anyway, I'm, I'm this way. Oh. Okay, uh, I'll see you later. Uh, maybe. Dad, why are you home? The internet went down at the office. Again? That happened last week, too. You're right, it did. We really need to get that fixed, don't we? How was school? It was cool. We learned about paleontology. That's like dinosaurs. My favorite one is the velociraptor. Do you know what velociraptor means? You tell me. Speedy thief. Isn't that cool? If I were a dinosaur, I'd be that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Casper, can you maybe not mention to your mom that I was home early today? How come? Well, I don't want her to get jealous of us two dinosaurs spending time alone together. Hey, I thought we were walking home together. Maybe you confused me with one of your new friends. What? One of the friends that you met at Boots' party last night? It's not like that. Then explain it to me, Zoe. It just happened all of a sudden. All of a sudden, your sister's popular friends want to hang out with you and you lie to me about it? Isaac just really wanted me to go, and he was dating Cleo, so I couldn't really say no. What does that have to do with anything? 
You don't have to get it, okay? But it's different for me or for Isaac. I know that your sister died and that she was dating him, but that doesn't mean you have to lie to me. Okay, I get it. I screwed up. If you want to yell at me, go for it. My mom's probably at home waiting to do the same thing. Sometimes I forget that Cleo's really gone. It was a dumb party anyway. You would have hated it. No one did a single magic trick. <sighs> Lame. Let's never go to another party again. It's not like I've ever even been to one. Well, if we're gonna be magicians in Las Vegas with our own show, no more fighting. Deal? Deal. As long as you answer my text from now on. I can't stay mad at you. How about we go inside and practice some scarf tricks? Does David Copperfield need a haircut? No. His hair is perfect. I heart you. Bye, Brody. See you tomorrow. See ya. Hey, that was magic practice. It was fine. Rough day? Just, just a weird day. Wanna talk about it? Was Cleo different when she was just with you? Uh, what do you mean? Like, when it was just you and Cleo. What was she like? Well, <clears throat> I guess she was a lot like your mom. She can be pretty stubborn. <laughs> but she had that great sense of humor. She used to tell me knock-knock jokes, I, even in the hospital. Just oh, Yeah, <laughs> I loved it when she told me those, but I can't remember the last time she told me one, though. Hey, why don't you wow me with one of your magic tricks? Okay, pick a card, any card. Hmm. Okay, now put it back in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shuffle it up. Is that your card? <laughs> You're really good at this. Think you got a million dollars up your sleeve? Ask and you shall receive. Wh Dinner! <laughs> Casper, come set the table. Okay. The world's most famous magician was named Eric Wise. When he arrived in New York, he changed his name to Harry Houdini. So I've always thought it'd be more interesting to have a secret identity. Or maybe a secret past. Hi. Yeah. Th thanks for calling back. Some kind of riddle for someone to solve. Magic only works when the audience is willing to suspend their disbelief. If they're looking too hard, then the illusion is shattered. Have a great day at school, bud. Bye, Dad. Bye. Bye. The trick isn't to fool the audience, but to earn their trust and become someone else altogether. Talking me now. <laughs> what do you want, Boots? Hmm, well, it seems like every time I turn around, you're here. You got a crush on me or something? Whatever. Hmm, yeah, whatever. Oh, thank you. Is he always like that? Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, Boots only has one speed. Total jerk face. Well, for the record, I think it's awful what he does. Who cares if you like guys? I'm not actually gay. Then why do you let him call you that? Because who cares? 
There's nothing wrong with being gay. Uh, yeah, but don't you want people to know who you are? I'm fine, Zoe. I promise. Yo! Hi! You got a trick rabbit in there? How dare you? I would use real rabbits or no rabbits at all. Houdini would be proud. Speaking of, you wanna practice at lunch? Can't. You hanging with the cool kids or something? Ha ha, no. I am working with Miss Hughes on a problem set, but I can practice tonight. Sure. Have fun in algebra, nerd. <laughs> So are you trying to be friends with all of Cleo's friends, or just Isaac? Uh, this is about that party. I didn't even want to go. Then why did you? Isaac asked me to. And what's it to you anyway? What it is, is before your sister came along, Isaac was my boyfriend. And I'm sad Cleo died. But I really don't need another Valentine trying to get my way. Uh, the last place I want to be is in your way. Then step aside. Hello? Um, okay. I just haven't been there since Cleo was sick. Okay, um, I'll see you there. Bye. Thanks for coming. Wow. You do look a lot like her. Hi. <laughs> Daddy? Daddy, I have a really funny joke to tell you. Uh, can't wait to hear it, Cleo. Knock, knock. Who's there? That's who? God bless you. <laughs> Tony. Uh, one, one, one second, honey. Tony! What are you doing home? Um, I had, I had coffee with a client over on this side of town, so I just, I just swung by afterwards. It's the middle of the day. I just needed a little break. I wish I could take a little break. Brenda, we need to talk. Do me a favor and pull yourself together before the kids get home. Yo, Brad, can I talk to you for a second? It's Brody, not Brad. Oh, well, you are Zoe's friend, right? The one and only, till you came along. Uh, I just I just used to date her sister, is all. Yeah, I think we're all aware of Attaway's former it couple. <laughs> um, uh, did Zoe ever say anything about me? About you? To me? Yeah, or, or did Cleo? Cleo barely even acknowledged either of us. Oh, okay, that's good. Well, anyway, uh, some people are coming over to Boots' house this Saturday if you and Zoe wanted to come by. Well, we appreciate your offer. Zoe and I are actually training to become professional magicians, so we really need to focus on our routine. But if our plans change, you'll be the first to know. Catch you later, Isaac. That feels like forever ago. Did you guys meet? Here? Yeah, yeah, we were in treatment at the same time, and we lost our hair the same week. So you knew each other well? Yeah, as well as possible, but I've always been curious about you and your parents and Isaac. She told you about him? Yeah, I mean, we were always brutally honest. In, in our situation, you have to be, but... Yeah, I was, I was kind of crushed. I'm sorry. You know, the funny thing about Cleo is you never really could stay mad at her. <laughs> what? Oh, no, you just remind me of someone. I'm sorry I interrupted. No, 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 it's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> well, hopefully. Uh <laughs> <laughs> she explained it all to me, you know, typical Cleo, and then I understood. What do you mean you understood what? Oh, 
Oh, it's it's nothing. It, it doesn't matter much now. Um, I'm sorry if this is a weird question to ask, but uh, were you in love with my sister? I was. Well, I am. I probably always will be. And, um, did she love you? I think so. At least sometimes. <laughs> How are we doing today, Kent? Ooh. Sorry, I didn't realize you had company. Oh, hey, Dr. Clint. Uh, uh, this is... Zoe Valentine, I remember. I was so sorry when I heard your sister passed away. I treated her a few years ago. I'll give you two a minute. You know, I, I saw you walking home from school and you're exactly like how Cleo used to describe you. She talked about me? Yeah, yeah, all the time. I'm sorry, this is just weird to me because in these past few years, she hardly ever talked to me. Doesn't really make sense why I could... She talked to you, but not me. I'm her sister. I, f I have to go. Hey, if you come again, do a magic trick for me. You have to win over everyone in the crowd. You think is taking over and your heart is growing. But sometimes there's a skeptic in the room. No, life ain't always something easy. When you cut up somebody who doesn't want to be fooled that night. That you can never see what's there. Or maybe ever again. Houdini used to hide secret keys in his bushy hair or in the hollow part of his shoes, but getting rid of them wasn't so easy. At the end of his set, he'd invite an assistant on stage. When they shook hands, that's how he got rid of the key. Point being, even a genius needs help sometimes. How many times have I told you not to leave a mess in the living room? Hey, I've been missing that one since Monday. I'm sorry, Mom. I'll try to be better about cleaning up. Thank you. Do you want to go see a movie later like we used to? Kind of. I have plans later, sweetie. Maybe next week. Uh, is that why you're going through your dresses? Just some spring cleaning. Okay. Thank you. 
We're just gonna make it plural, right? <laughs>
I'm gay. I'm sorry, what? I'm gay and your sister, no. Okay, she, she was protecting me. After Cleo got better, we just, we just became really close, you know? And I've been dating Allison for a few years. And I just, I told Cleo I couldn't take it anymore. Why didn't you just break up with Allison? It's even worse when you're single. You have to flirt with girls and talk about how hot they are. And you couldn't tell anybody because of boots, right? <laughs> well, yeah, he's not the most accepting. Why are you even friends with him? Deep down, he's actually a good guy. But he doesn't know who you are. It was Cleo's idea. If I broke up with Allison and started dating her, no one would suspect me. Then you know when I was ready, I could just tell people. I was getting close. I really was. Then Cleo went and died. You're the second person on the planet who knows. Oh jeez, I guess the only person on the planet. Something about the Valentine girls, I guess. Hey, freshman, you want to make out? Uh, yes, please. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, my. What is this? <laughs> yeah, your friend is, uh... Yeah, I'm trying not to think about it. Should I go check on him? No. I think you might need a moment to recover. I think I might need a moment to recover. <laughs> hey, um, did you find Isaac? Yeah. And you figured out whatever you needed to talk about? Yeah, I just needed to ask him something about my sister. Sounds like she was a pretty good girlfriend, though. Oh, Cleo and Isaac? They're like one of those um, storybook romances you see on Netflix, you know? I mean, they're perfect together. I was a little jealous. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of us were. One minute, I'm talking to her friends, and the next, Allison Betts is kissing me. Ugh. In front of people. I thought I was dreaming. Uh, I think you mean a nightmare. Did you grow devil horns after? Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I had to fend for myself after you ran off with Isaac. I just found some old pictures of him and Cleo. Thought he might want them. Tonight was fun. Some of your sister's friends aren't terrible. I might even want to hang out with them again. So, no more no new friends policy? I think we could both stand to do a little less magic and more socializing with actual people our ages. Hey, there's nothing wrong with doing magic. No, I know. But there's also nothing wrong with going to parties. Which car is that? Weird. What? Uh, I'll call you tomorrow. Zoe? Your curfew was an hour ago. Why was Cleo's doctor driving away from our house? We were just at an event together. A charity thing. Why didn't Dad go? It was last minute. It's not a big deal. Where were you? I was at a party. It was last minute. It's not a big deal. The thing about Houdini is that he knew not every assistant was right for every job. For certain moments, the toughest moments, you want just the right person in the ring with you.
somebody who understands your world. Inside and out. If there is one thing Houdini knew besides magic, it was pickpocketing. Like magic, pickpocketing requires you to draw the eye away from the action, and it makes something disappear in the blink of an eye. Mom! Mom! Zoe, what are you doing? I'm looking for my magic coin. Your what? My magic coin, have you seen it? Maybe it disappeared as a sign you should be doing way less magic and way more studying. I'm literally two years ahead in math, so what more do you want from me, woman? Dad, have you seen my magic coin? I haven't seen it. Check the money jar. I did, there's nothing in there. That's impossible, I just put a bunch of loose change in there yesterday. Ugh. Okay, but what if you had to be underwater half the time? I was still too space. I don't know, man. I'd want to be a mermaid. Okay, what if a shark tried to eat you? You punch it in the nose. <laughs> Does that actually work? Does what actually work? Punching a shark in the nose. Are we still debating living in the ocean versus space? I thought we decided on space yesterday. The whole zero gravity and floating food thing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, but I was thinking about it again last night and I changed my mind. Hi, Isaac. Hey, Allison. You look really pretty today. And I'm also first in my class, but please only compliment me on my appearance. Very nice, Ali. Why are we hanging out with children, Isaac? Oh, we aren't hanging out. You came over here and interrupted. So what do you think my chances are of making out with her again? <laughs> Isn't there somebody else, anybody else, like literally anybody? Nothing's impossible. I mean, you're a good looking guy. Your star is rising in that way. Allison likes both those things. What? No, Isaac! We have to keep him humble! Uh the student has been on the last screen. X is the variable. And it's the stop. Yeah. Mr. Vargas, if you're done flirting with Zoe Valentine, would you solve for X, please? <laughs> Zoe and Milo sitting in a tree. I'm gonna kill you. Let me make it up to you. Meet me in this classroom right after school. For what? The opportunity of a lifetime. Oh, yay! Hey. What's going on? As you may know, Kiba and I are on the leadership committee of the student council. And we've been tasked in finding bright new talent to run for student council by the end of the year. And we think you should run. For treasurer. Both down the time. <laughs> uh, did you guys like rehearse that? So? I don't know. It's not really me. I feel like it'd be a natural. I could probably stand to do more things than card tricks. Yeah. Strong, maybe. Oh, that's okay. Yay, I'm excited. Can I talk to you? Yeah, but I'm surprised my mom let you upstairs. People let you do a lot of things when you have a dead sister. <laughs> So, how would you feel if we took a break from magic? Confused. You've been so into it. And you sent me that really aggressive rehearsal schedule around the scarf tricks. Yeah, no, that, that sounds like me. I've just been thinking, there's a lot of other ways I could be spending my time. Yeah, um, I'll be honest with you, Zoe. I only really got into magic because you loved it. It's what you always did to make Cleo smile. What's that supposed to mean? You've been lying about liking magic? And I didn't only do it because of Cleo. Well, she's the reason that you got into it. Zoe, you don't have to keep doing magic just because Cleo loved it. Okay, then I guess we'll take a break. Yeah, if that's what you want. I want you to tell me what to do. I can't. This is your decision. Is this about Allison? Do you want me to say that we should stop doing magic so you can look cooler to Allison? Wait, I thought you were the one that wanted to take a break. Yeah, I know, I do. Okay, good talk. Yeah, felt pretty weird to me. Well, I hope I can still count on your vote in May. For what? Longer story. I'm gonna go. And I feel like there's maybe something going on between me and Milo, but I don't know. How am I supposed to know? I'm sorry, know what? 
Oh, I'm so sorry. You're trying to rest. I should just go. No, I, I need the company. So, what else is going on at school? Some of Cleo's friends. Well, I guess they're my friends now. Is that weird? <laughs> it's only weird if you make it weird. Okay, well, these friends want me to join student government. Maybe you should. I don't know. That was always kind of Cleo's thing. Yeah, but you should hear the way she talked about those clubs. NHS, FHS, that other one with the S. ASC, Attaway Spirit. Yeah, anyways, it was those clubs that like really gave Cleo her drive and purpose and where she made some of her best friends. Well, I mean, magic's kind of a solo game, so I guess it might be nice if I get to know all these new people who might be my friends. It certainly couldn't hurt. <laughs> Kent, I'm heading out, so if you need anything, Nurse Carol's on duty tonight, all right? You kids don't stay up too late. What was that? Oh, nothing. just about the most romantic restaurant in town. Pickpockets steal things that they think they need. Someone might think that in stealing, they'll find an escape or themselves. Ow. Casper? But taking something from someone doesn't turn you into that person. It just leads you further away from yourself. Casper? I took it, I'm sorry. Cas, what is all this about? I have to make sure we don't lose anyone else. What are you talking about? I spent all the coins from the coin dish, and then it happened. What happened? Cleo died. So I have to make sure we always have coins. No one else can die. Cass, you didn't kill Cleo. Then what did? Why did it happen? I don't know why. She got sick. It's not your fault. It's not anybody's fault. Promise? Promise. Houdini said, my brain is the key to set my mind free. And that's true, whether or not you're a magician. There's no one who can make you feel worse about yourself than you can. Not the school bully, not your parents, not your best friend. Just your own brain telling you things you don't want to hear. You can't sneak up on a girl before she's had her coffee. Sorry. It's okay, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> so I was thinking, junior spring fling's coming up. Mm-hmm. Did you want to be my date? What? <sighs> it's just boots and some of the guys are on my case about not having a date. And how are they gonna feel that you're taking your dead girlfriend's sister who's a freshman? Better than taking someone who doesn't really know me. I don't know, Isaac. Okay, look, I wasn't gonna say anything, but you need to come because there's gonna be a surprise and you're not gonna wanna miss it. Is this more student council stuff? I already said I'm gonna run. No, well, kinda. Okay, look, the student council came up with this fun idea for the spring fling and I know you'll love it. Okay, trust me. Okay, I guess. Wait, really? Sure. Oh my God, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> what was that about? Nothing. Didn't seem like nothing. Fine. Isaac just asked me to the spring fling. Wow. You give up magic for one day and then the coolest kid in school asks you out? 
I didn't quit magic and he didn't ask me out. Okay, sorry. But what if Milo wants to ask you? How do you even know if Milo likes me? Even I know he likes you. So the junior class spring fling with Isaac Jones. Who would have thought? I'm sorry, what? Oh, um, we're just going as friends. Hey, Allison. Does everybody have a date to this stupid dance with me? Hey, freshman. Do you want to go to the spring fling with me? Yes, please. Cool. Now get off me. I'll send you a picture of my dress so we can coordinate. Just send me the color. That way the dress can be a surprise. Okay. Milo? Hi. Uh, what are you doing here? Sorry, I mean... Hello. <laughs> Hi. Nice to see you. Um, welcome to my living room. And also... What are you doing here? Uh, well, I wanted to tell you that I think you're funny and smart and I think you're really cool. Uh, thank you. Look, what I'm trying to say is that I like you. And I like you too. Good. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Zoe Valentine. <laughs> will you go to the spring fling with me? Um, I'm, I'm kind of already going with someone else. I'm so sorry. Who is it? Isaac. Wait, Isaac asked you? Yeah, but it's not like that. We're just... Friends. Dude, where were you? Practice is over. I was asking Zoe Valentine to the spring fling. You know, too bad you already did that. You're asking a girl to the spring fling. What'd your boyfriend say now? Shut Knock up! Knock it off! <laughs> what? Hang on, Vargas. Look, I'm really sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to get between you and Zoe. Okay, then why would you ask her to the spring fling? So Boots would get off my back about not having a date. So you take the girl you know I like? Wow, Isaac, thanks. You know, five years of friendship means so much. It's not like that. Okay, then tell me what it's like. Explain! You know what? I'm done. I don't care. Have a good one. I'm gay. What? Yeah. And Zoe knows. She was doing me a favor. I'm telling you this because we are friends. And a girl is certainly not the reason that should end. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. So that's why you're always defending me with Boots? Doesn't what he say bother you? <laughs> yeah. But I'm not ready to come out yet. I get it. I'd like to go out for a meal for a change. We need to figure out some of your sister's medical bills before we can just spend frivolously like that. That reminds me, Tony. Dr. Clint is gonna speak to the hospital. He said there's a better payment plan than the one we've been using. That's awfully sweet of him. Why does he know so much about our finances, Mom? 
I told you I ran into him at a charity event. I didn't know there was a charity event. Was it at the hospital? Yeah, Mom, tell us more. What was the charity? Who was there? Was it catered? They have Dominic's. That place is such a great menu. No phones at the table. Good thing I'm done then. And now Milo is upset and Allison hates me even more. I don't even want to go to this stupid dance. I just want to crawl under my covers and pretend that none of this is happening. I think you should go to the dance. I think it'll be a really special night. Trust me. Yeah, maybe. I just thought all this would be easier. I thought I'd be able to see Cleo's world and it would help me move on. But now, my school life is just a mess and I miss her more than ever. You know, maybe that's okay. I don't know, I just, I just think you have to walk through the pain to really understand it. But I don't understand it. I just keep finding more questions about her than answers. Like, why didn't she want me to be a part of her life? And why didn't she want to be part of mine? I promise she did. Then why didn't she help me figure out who I am? Why'd she leave before teaching me about boy drama and, and our parents now even to apply a freaking cat Because eye? she wanted to protect you. She kept her distance so it would be easier. I don't know, sometimes... That's what I want to do with those who love me. Maybe it's not the best way, but it's the only way she knew how to handle all this. She also knew that you could handle it. Hey, what's up? You look weird. I have to tell you something, I have to tell you really fast because I feel really bad about it. Okay. I want to go to the spring fling with Milo. And I know he technically asked me after you asked me, but I think he might maybe really like me and I think I might maybe really like him. And it'd be really fun if we go together, so please don't hate me. I don't hate you. I can never hate you. You have my blessing. And just to confirm, he does like you a lot. Well, who are you gonna go with? Myself. I'll be fine. You send me a dance, though? Deal. Houdini was right when he said, my brain is the key to set my mind free. The moment we forgive ourselves for the things we can't change, that's when we begin to heal. Hey, so. Oh, looks like we had the same idea, huh? Do you come here a lot? Yeah, on tough days. Because it makes me feel like I get to spend some time with her. I'm sorry that everything is such a mess. What do you mean? You're stressed about money and Mom's mad, like, every day. We're gonna be okay. We are gonna get through this all stronger than ever. There's nothing this family can't overcome. But none of us can do it on our own, so I'm always here for you, your mother is always here for you. Never forget that. Isaac's downstairs. Okay. Oh, you really look gorgeous, honey. Thanks, Mom. It's grown back so nicely. 
Too bad I'm gonna have to shave it all off again. Honey, you beat this last time, and you're gonna beat it again. Zoe, come in here and look at how beautiful your sister looks. Zoe. You almost ready? Yeah. I'm just trying to decide if I can wear these heels all night. I like the ones you had on earlier. They didn't really fit. They were Cleo's. You look stunning. You've really come out of your shell this semester, Zoe. Yeah. I feel... different. Is that a bad thing? I don't really know yet. <sighs> Zoe. Look. I'm doing my best. I know that I've been... <sighs> We're all getting through this in our own ways. Take one quick stop before it's go time. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Are we insane for in this junior dance? Did you come all the way over to my house just to ask me that one question? Yes. Then yes. You are insane, but not for wanting to go to the dance. I think it's gonna be fun. Really? No. I have no idea. I am so nervous. What if Allison was kidding about wanting to go to the dance with me, and I show up and she laughs in my face? Doing magic alone in our bedrooms is way easier than this. So true. Okay, see you there. See you there. <laughs> hey, Zoe. You look really beautiful. You look great, Zoe. <laughs> that necklace is amazing. Thanks. <laughs> everyone, welcome to the annual Junior Spring Fling. I want to thank you for making this evening such a success. And I want to introduce someone to explain how we're going to make this dance even more special in the years to come. Mr. Jones. I think it's over. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, Thank you all for coming out tonight. As most of you know, we lost one of our own this year. Cleo Valentine was an amazing friend, active member of our school's community, and loving daughter and sister. She's missed by so many, and we here at Attaway wanted to make a special tribute in her honor. So tonight, we have a few surprises. Uh, but first, 
please join me in welcoming the entire Valentine family. And our final special guest, Kent, who was very close to Cleo during her time in the hospital. Kent and Cleo were both treated at Attaway Memorial Hospital, and I am so proud to announce that tonight, from now on, all ticket sales from the Junior Spring Fling will be donated there in honor of the incredible Cleo Valentine. Zoe Valentine, would you want to come up here and accept this on behalf of your family in the hospital? Zoe, and I guess, I guess I just, I just want to say that, um, you are about to see something truly remarkable, astounding, and amazing. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? A magic show, and we're doing it. Why? Same reason you did it for Cleo. Look at their faces. Great work by the amazing Brodini, am I right, ladies and gentlemen? This is one of Cleo's favorites. Pick a card, any card. Now don't show it to me, but I want you to write something on the back. Now my assistant Brody will hand me my silk handkerchief. Oh, so now I'm your assistant? Do it or I'll saw you in half. Sorry, I pulled that on you. Yeah, don't ever do that again. I know you'd be great. How? You're a Valentine girl. Hey, you were amazing. Could you teach me all that? Cleo would have loved that. Can I maybe come and dance with you and your friends? Absolutely. I'm gonna go over by Isaac. I'll see you in a minute. Should we maybe go join him? I'm sorry, I'm I'm just not ready. Hey! Hey. Man, now I get why Cleo loved this place so much. Yeah, it's pretty special. <laughs> yeah, it makes me hate the hospital even more. Well, then come on, we've got to live up every single second of your jailbreak time. No, Zoe, Zoe, no, 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 no. Hey, look at the other Valentine. Her name is Zoe. Hey Cleo, it's me, Zoe.
I don't know how heaven works, but if you can somehow hear me, I want you to know that I miss you so, so much. These past few months have been impossible. I felt so confused, but I realized that that's okay. You try to protect me from pain, but I can handle it. I'm strong. You help make me strong. So it's okay if I'm incomplete without you. I'm gonna be okay. And I'm gonna make you proud.